Okay, so in this video discussion, so we'll be talking about um, thermodynamics. So this uh, video will present the lesson on the basic principles of uh, thermodynamics, the definitions and the concepts. So first we will define thermodynamics. Okay, so we have here the definition of thermodynamics. So thermodynamics is the branch of physical sciences that treats um, that treats various ph phenomena of energy and related properties of matter. So especially of the laws of transformation from uh, from from heat into other forms of energy and vice versa. So thermodynamics is a physical science, a branch of physical science. So uh, it studies or treats the various phenomena of energy and related properties of matter. It mainly focuses on the transformation of heat into other forms of energy. So that's why we have the word thermo. So thermo, it means heat. Then dynamics meaning movement or moving. So that's why the transformation of heat from one form to another. So we know in our physics the forms of energy. Okay. It's just like this um little bit there. So the forms of energy. So we have uh, the usual, we have the light energy. Then we have the sound. Then we have also the um, the two main types of energy. And so we have the kinetic and the energy at rest, which is the potential. Okay. So heat is another form of energy. So heat. So heat is another form of energy so the thermodynamics mostly focuses on the transformation of heat into other forms of energy so if we are going to have this its application so for example you have a certain uh, engine so an engine uh, creates heat and heat energy is transformed into movement so that would be kinetic energy so that is how the science or the uh, study of thermodynamics focuses on the transformation of heat into other forms of energy. Okay.
Now we will go to the units, okay? The units of thermodynamics or the um, the units of any other physical sciences, okay? System of units. So in thermodynamics, we use three units. So first, we will have the MQS. So the MQS is where sometimes the read the MQS as um, they will say that one as meter kilogram second. So that is how they get the nomenclature of MQS. But in thermodynamics, MKS is a system of unit wherein your 1 Newton of force, 1 Newton of force, okay, 1 Newton of force, so accelerates accelerates uh, 1 kilogram of mass of mass at 1 meter per second squared um, rate of acceleration. So that is how the MTS state. So this uh, statement here is from Newton's second law, the law of acceleration. So we have that one in blue. So that, that force force is equal to mass times acceleration. So if you have a illustration here, for example, we have a block. So a solid block. So for example, the solid block has one kilogram. Okay? So one kilogram. If you apply a force, if you apply a force equivalent to one Newton, so this block will move in this direction at a rate of 1 meter per second squared. So that is how the MTS is stated, the system unit. So for example, if the given is in Newton, so its partner uh, units must be for mass grams and for acceleration, uh, acceleration meters per second okay so let's go to another system of units so we have the cgs so sum or the nomenclature for this one is a centimeter gram second so this Nomenclature is uh, very helpful because it will help us or help you know what are the units related to this system, okay? So, the, the definition of the, or the concept of this system of unit is that one dyne, let's have that one in green, okay, let's just erase this first, so one dyne, of force accelerates uh, accelerates one gram mass at one centimeter per second squared okay so that is the concept of this unit. So meaning, if we will write again our block here, okay, so we'll have a rigid block. So the weight of the block is one gram. Then we will going to apply a one dyne of force. Then, 
the one line of force will cause the block to move one centimeter per second squared so that is the rate of acceleration so the units that involved um, this uh, system is dyne for force grams so we have dyne for 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 force gram for mass and centimeter per second squared for acceleration then the last one so we have the fps okay so we have the third one the fps or the force so we have here the meaning of fps is feet pound second so the concept so it state that let's just first clear our f to avoid any confusion okay so the concept is that one pound force Accelerate so one pound of force so is just have our off. Okay, so one pound of force accelerates accelerates one pound mass at one feet per second squared so that is how the concept of um, FPS so I believe this is not pound because we have two pounds here for mass and force so this is slug okay, so let's make the correction so this is slug okay slug Okay, so if we will draw again our rigid box, okay, so the weight of the rigid box is one slug. Let's draw a little bit, um, a bigger box here. So the weight of the box is one slug. Then it is applied by one pound force then by applying that one pound force your box or your ri or a rigid block will accelerate one feet per second squared so that is the concept of FPS okay Okay, so we will now focus on Newton's second law. So the law of acceleration. Okay, so according to this law, so the acceleration the acceleration The acceleration of a particular let's have this one here particular Proportional
So we have here the statement of this uh, law of acceleration by Newton. So we have the acceleration. So here the acceleration of a particular body is directly proportional to the resultant force. and acting on it and inversely proportional to its mass. So if we're going to write that one in a formula, so that will be F for the, that will be acceleration. So the sub acceleration as A. So acceleration is directly proportional to the resultant force and inversely proportional to the mass so we have that one and because we are um talking about proportionality so we could have that one as an equation if we will write a constant of proportionality which is k for this instance and we could have that one as f over m so this is now the statement of the second law of uh, Newton which is the law of acceleration now the problem is what is K so what is our K now so we will uh, try to resolve K in the three different system of units okay so first we will try to have that one in uh, MTS okay so according to MTS so your one Newton of force will move one kilogram of mass at a rate of one meter per second squared so if we are going to substitute that one in the formula so this is your F of that one red that one in green this will be your F, this will be your M, and this will be your A, okay? So, because all of these are 1, so this, this will be called as per unit. So, per unity or per 1, okay? So, we'll just substitute. So, A is equal to K F over M. So, our A is uh, 1 meter per second squared so k we don't have for the value of k our f is one newton over our acceleration is one meter per second squared now oh no no one kilogram sorry would be one kilogram so solving for k so we'll just multiply both sides by um, one one kilogram per one newton so this will cancel out the newton per one kilogram here then we will have here the one kilogram per one newton so we'll be left with k then we'll just reverse the equation so our k is equal to one kilogram times one meters per second squared all over one newton okay then we'll, um, we'll simplify our k so we have one kilogram meter over newton second squared and this is the value of our k and the mts okay next we will do the cgs okay so cgs So for the CGS, uh, other force is one dyne of force. It will move 
a block which is which has a mass of one gram so it's just right here the m one gram and the movement will have an rate of acceleration of one centimeter per second squared so if you are asking how these are done so this or this value are uh, achieved or are solved it is um done through experiment so experimentation so that's why these um, units are uh, what what we called as per unit analysis okay because we are only tackling one so the our our quantity is one for each unit so if we are going to go back to our um, formula so a is equal to k f over m so substituting the gibbons we have one centimeter per second squared is equal to k so our mass is one gram over one dyne then solving for k okay so i believe this is reverse so this will be one dyne okay sorry for the for the wrong substitution of the given so this is one gram okay so we will try to solve for k so we'll just multiply both sides of the equation with one gram one dyne okay so then we will reverse the equation so that we could present k in the left side of the equation so k is equal to um, one gram centimeter per dine okay it's dine squared and that is the value for k in the cgs unit Okay, we will go now to FPS. Okay, so the fourth one, uh, the third one is FPS. So I believe I have the wrong number for the CGS. So this is, will be the third. So FPS. So for this one, our force is um, one pound force. Our mass is one slug okay and our acceleration is equal to one feet per second square okay so if you are going to solve for uh if we will have our formula again so it's just about one in four pole Okay, so A is equal to K F over M. So substituting, so we have one feet per second squared is equal to so our K, our force is one pound force over one slug. Okay, then multiply both sides of the equation with one slug one pound force or we could just directly simplify that one as one slug per pound force okay then reversing the equation so that we could present k on the left side so k is equal to one slug feet or foot because it is one per pound force second squared and that is our k for the fps system of units okay so we will 
uh, end this video with this um, topic or with this uh, final concept and we will have another video which talk about the difference between pound mass, pound force, kilogram mass, and kilogram force, and the difference between mass and weight. So we will be tackling about the effect of the force or the force of gravity or the acceleration due to gravity. Thank you for watching the video.